तो मैंने x एन वाइस में everyone please turn on your videos rahim have you done the homework yes ma'am i have doubt in the ninth question ninth question okay ma'am okay. okay. what is what is this heart diamond and club <laughs> This is I was teaching to some other class the probability concept. Oh, okay, ma'am. So this is the probability part. This is your page, no? <clears throat> Now see. Let's begin today's work. Uh, today is fourteenth. Okay, and your question is <laughs> that you had to find x plus y divided by x minus y if x value of x and y is given to you. Okay, so I'm showing you with x is equal to two by three and y is equal to three by two. Okay, let's do with this. Okay, so wherever you have x in this equation. And wherever you have y in this equation, you will just write the values of x and y. Okay, so let's see. In the first part, you have I'm writing this x plus y upon x minus y. Okay, so I have here x is two by three plus y is three by two. Okay, similarly here x is two by three minus y is three by two. Now what do we do here? In this case, we'll take the LCM of this three two z is six. Okay, so two two z is four plus two three z is six. Three three z is nine. Okay, and the next one is again the LCM is six here. So three two z is six. So that is four here minus two three z is six. So that is nine here. Okay, and here we have now nine plus four is thirteen by six, and in the denominator we have. Minus five by six. Are you understanding this? When you have thirteen by six and you have something in the denominator, a fraction in the denominator. So what do we do? We take the reciprocal of this. Is it? This is what we do. And the yes. sign changes. Okay. So same thing I have done here. Six and six will cancel. Thirteen and five cannot cancel because they are prime numbers. So my answer is thirteen by minus five. Okay. Okay, ma'am. I got until uh, I did until the thirteen by six by minus five by six. After that, I didn't understand much. Okay. So now I understood, ma'am. And now it's clear, no? So then you take it in the numerator, no? You it becomes reciprocal and the sign also changes. Okay. Same way you have to do the rest of the parts. Okay, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Anyone else? Any more doubts? Mom, could you little bit scroll up? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now coming to quadrilaterals. Okay. So the very first thing that we saw in quadrilaterals was the polygons part, right? So let me just take out the book. And your today's homework will not be on quadrilaterals. Your today's homework will be on linear equations today. 
Thanks, okay. Thanks. So that you can revise linear equation through the worksheet. And in the class now, we are revising quadrilateral. quadrilateral. Okay. And for your Sunday test also, this time you will have quadrilateral stopping. Okay. So you must revise it thoroughly. It will be, you know, a second test of quadrilateral. Second or third test. I think it was first there was an objective test on quadrilaterals, no? Then we had taken subjective test also. Then again, this time also you will have subjective test on quadrilaterals, right? This week also okay. subjective only, ma'am. Huh, this week you will have subjective, no? Yes, ma'am. Last week you had objective. Okay, yes, so yes. for your Sunday test, you must revise quadrilaterals thoroughly. Okay, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, Sai Karthik. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So, you don't join the class. It's the first time I've seen you. Yes? Ma'am, ma yes. I have different classes, ma'am. Also? But when ma you, see, you have father's... Class. Yes, see, see. Mom, my father spoke with the Chanakya tutorial, Mom. Huh? They said to accord the recordings, Mom. Okay, so you yeah. see only to the recordings? Yes, Mom. Okay. So if you have any doubts, then... Mom, I don't have any doubts. That's good. But whenever you have doubt, you are free to ask. Okay? Okay. Ask anytime. Okay. Actually, this time I saw your name when you gave the objective test paper. That was the first time I saw your name. So Ma'am, like it got thing. automatically, it went submitted, ma'am. Your name circulated. See, your name is in the list. That's why it's circulating, no? Ma'am, like I was trying to attempt the exam, ma'am. Suddenly, it got submitted when I didn't even attempt any answer, ma'am. Okay, Okay, never mind. I have your paper with me. Okay, okay. I'll show you one second. Sorry, Karthik. This is your paper. Okay, so you have got 21 out of 30. Your yeah? subjective test paper. This is it. Can you see? Yes, ma'am. This is your paper, no? Yes, ma'am. So don't do any question directly. You must always show the working. Okay, you must okay. always show your calculations. If you just write direct question, you will get only limited marks. Okay. So always show the working. Okay. okay. So coming to the quadrilateral part, starting with the convex polygons and concave polygons. Right, children? The convex polygon, I have told you, whatever polygon you have any closed polygon whose all the interior angles are less than 180 degrees are called convex polygon okay okay whose each interior angle is less than 180 degree is the convex polygon right concave polygon is that whatever shape you At least one interior angle. Okay. Are you understanding? And in this concave, at least one interior angle should be greater. And in convex, all the interior angles should be each of. Okay. Not all together, but each one should be less than 180 degrees. Okay. Yes, understood this. If anyone has doubt, so stop me there and ask your doubt. Okay. Okay, now coming. Mom, in concave, at least one interior angle should be greater than 180, mom. Yes, at least one angle should be greater than 180 degree. Okay, mom. Okay. Okay, now coming to this part. See, this part is not in your book. Okay. Uh, the one which I had taught you the formula n minus 2 into 180 degrees. Okay, I know that many of you were finding it difficult because that part is not in your textbook in the chapter given. 
but I had shown you from my side. So let's take some figures like this. Suppose I take a triangle figure. This is the smallest polygon. Is it made with least number of lines? Okay, its sides are three. Its sides are three. Okay, and its angle sum is 180 degrees. You can please note down if you don't have it in your notebook. So you can note down. Okay. Its angle sum is 180 degrees. Okay. Now let's take another polygon. Okay. Like this. I'm taking some four-sided figure. This was three-sided. Now I'm taking a four-sided figure. Now its angle sum will be 2 into 360. Because I know that all the interior angles in any quadrilateral, the sum of all the interior angles in any quadrilateral is 360. And I can write it as 2 into 180. But how come I am writing 2 into 180? Because I can write it like this. 4 minus 2. Why 4? Because 4 is the number of sides here. 4 minus 2 into 180 degrees. I can write it like this. Then yes. where did then where did you find the 10 minus 2 times 180? Yes, formula? I will tell you. I will tell you. So in this similarly, in this case, also we could have written it like this 3 minus 2 into 180. Here also we could have written like this, no? Yes. So that is 1 into 180 is 180 only. Are you understanding? So that is 2 mm -hmm. into what could you say again? What happened? Oh, could you see that formula again, Mama? I did got that. I'm coming to that formula. Okay. Okay. Now let's take any figure with five sides. Okay. So this is five sided figure. Now here the number of sides are five. So this can be written as five minus two. Into 100 degrees. 540 degrees, ma'am. Okay. So that means 5 minus 2 is 3. So 3 into 180. So this can be written as 540 degrees. That means angle sum property of any five sided figure is 540 degrees. You agree to this? You yes, agree to this? Okay. Yes, now let's take some six sided figure. Okay. Like this. Now I'm taking this as 6 minus 2 into 180 degrees, which gives me 4 into 180 degrees. So this gives me, how much is this? 720 Seven, degrees. 720 degrees? Yes, are you understanding that? Yes, ma'am. Similarly, similarly now, if I take any number of sided figure, say N sided figure, okay? N ma'am. Um, little bit, could you scroll up? One second. Let me first finish explaining. I'll show you. And let me, okay. Now, suppose if you take any n sided figure, then your formula becomes n minus 2. n minus 2. n is what? The sides of a figure, no? So, n minus 2 into 180, this is what your formula becomes? Yes, last year? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand this? Yes, ma'am. N is the size of the figure. Huh. N is the size of the figure. Yes, uh, yes, Shiva, Pranav, Shiva, did you understand this part? Pranav, Shiva? Hello? Pranav, Shiva? Okay, so children, have you all understood this part? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, ma what is the meaning of the n-sided figure, ma'am? N-sided figure means any figure which has n number of sides. Like one-sided figure, two-sided figure, three-sided figure. I have taken this, no? Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Ah, so n sides means any figure which has n number of sides. Okay. Okay. So that can be given with this formula, n minus 2 into 180 degrees? Yes, ma'am. Sure? Yes, ma'am. Any doubt in this? No, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, Vishta? A little bit, could you scroll up? Yes, ma'am. 
Shreshtha, is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Gaganna? Yes, ma'am. Varshit? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Rahim? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <coughs> Ronit? Yes, ma'am. Ronit, keep your video on, beta. Okay. So, many of you had confusion here. So, now I hope this is clear. Right? Now, note down whatever you want to note down. Somebody was noting here. Please note down fast so that I can note further. Yes, even if the shape has 9,99,999 sides, then also the same formula applies. Okay? Okay? Yes, ma'am, but um, uh, how... Uh... Yes, ma'am, but if, if we keep increasing the size, it will look like a circle, no, ma'am? No, ah, so... So... The, uh, then, then also the size, this uh, formula the applies. Then will not exist anymore, no? Ah, yes, ma'am. Uh, the point will come when the sides will not exist anymore. Then it will become a circle only. Then you will come to the circle part, the con circumference part. Yes, ma'am. Then that, there the topic changes. Ah, yes, ma'am. Got it? Got it, ma'am. Ah. Note down first. Done? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Done, ma'am. Now, let's see some question on this. Okay, what can you say about the angle sum of a convex polygon whose number of sides is, is 10? Now, suppose if the number of sides of any polygon is 10, then what will be the angle sum property of that convex polygon? <coughs> n minus 10 into 1. N minus 10? No, ma'am. 10 minus 2. Minus two. Ah, 10 minus 2. Minus two. two. Okay. Ah, 10 minus 2 20. into 180. 20. Okay. If the number of sides are 7, then? Ma'am, 1440 degrees. Ma'am, okay. the total okay. sum is 1440 degrees. Okay, okay, beta. So, whatever you get by multiplying this, okay, so that will be your answer. 7 okay. minus 2 ah, into 180. Okay. That does not matter. Whatever by multiplying you get, that will be your answer. But you should know this. Okay? So, if this number of sides of any polygon is 7 means, then how, how, how will you get that? How will and you get seven. the angle sum? Sa uh, 7 minus 2 into 180. Uh, so, angle sum means sum of all the interior angles of that polygon. This is the sum of all interior angles of the polygon. So, 7 minus 2 into 180 degrees. So that will be 5 into 900 degrees. Okay. So this is the sum of all the interior angles of that polygon, whatever seven-sided polygon it is. Okay. I hope you are understanding this. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma now, let's take this figure. This was the figure we had already discussed also. Let's take it again. Okay, this was the shape. It was given that this side it is 70 degrees. This side it is 60 degrees. Find the angle measure of X. Now, this angle is your X. These two angles are equal. Okay, and its measure is given as X. This angle is given as 30 degrees. Okay. Ma'am, we have already done this question. We have already. Ma'am, both are 15 degrees. We are revising the chapter. Okay. We are revising. Ma'am, both are 15 degrees. See here. Look here. When you have this angle as 70, your interior angle will be what? 100. 180 degrees. 110 degrees, not 180. Okay. Interior angle will be 110 degrees. No, So that when you add both of them in a linear pair, you 
they become 180 degrees. Similarly, when you have this angle 60 degree, your interior side will be 120 degrees. degrees, right? Okay. Now this angle is also given to you that this is 60 de 30 degrees. Now you know that this is what are the number of sides in this figure? One, two, three, four, and five. Five, ma'am. This is the five-sided figure, right? So five-sided figure ka angle sum property kitna hota hai? N minus two. Five forty degrees. Five forty degrees. Ah, so that is three into one eighty. This is five forty degrees. Oh, okay. So five forty degrees. So let's find. We are also given that these two are equal. Ma'am, two hundred and eighty degrees, ma'am. Ma'am, x is equal to 140. Okay, so be patient. Okay, patiently please listen. So, I am just adding all these angles. x plus x is 2x plus 30 degrees plus 110 degrees plus 120 degrees is equal to 540 degrees. Right? I cannot just take anything as 360 degrees. Okay? Okay? It has to be, you have to first count the number of sides of the polygon. <coughs> so, from here, can I find my value of x? You just add all this, 30 plus 110 plus 120 and subtract it from 540. So, what do you get here? That's 280. When you subtract all this from 540, you get 280. So, that means your x will be 280 divided by 2. 2 goes on the other side, you will get x as 140 degrees. So, your value of x is 140 degrees. Yes, got it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. yes ma'am. So, please patiently listen. Don't be in hurry, Shiva. Ranav Shiva. Okay? Yes, ma'am. I said 2x is equals to 280. Yes, that's okay. But don't be in hurry. Patiently listen. Okay, okay? ma'am. You see in the chat, ma'am, I, po I posted that answer. Yes, very nice. That's a good part in you, Vita. Okay. Now, let's see one more question. Sim find the number of sides. <coughs> find the number of sides of a regular polygon. whose each exterior angle whose each exterior angle is 45 degrees okay whose each exterior angle is 45 degrees so before we do this question we have to keep a property in the mind that the sum of the measure of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees. What is the property? Sum of exterior angles of any polygon. Any means any. Any number of sided polygon. Any polygon is 360 degrees. Okay. Are you getting? Any means any. Any. Right? Either it is 9 lakh, 90,000, whatever Shiva gave. Right? I have a doubt. Yes. Ma'am, yes. uh, do we have these questions in the textbook? Yes, you have. Okay. okay. You have in your course. Okay. So, if the number of regular polygon. Okay, not this. Not this. This is to be highlighted. Okay. So, the sum of all the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees. So, that you have to keep in mind. Okay. I'm just erasing this part. Okay. Okay, so please keep this in mind. I hope, please don't keep, don't keep this doubt in your mind that you don't have these questions in your book. I had shown you very well when we were doing the chapter. I'll show you again. This was your chapter. 
and you had these type of sums, right? And based on this property, the same property that I just wrote, the sum of measure of external angles of any polygon is 360 degrees, okay? So don't keep this doubt in your mind that whether you have such questions in your course or you don't have, okay? So you have it, right? This is this chapter that I have opened online here is based on your latest syllabus, new books. All right? Yes, children? Okay. Yeah. So okay. it's very well done, okay? And if, not, if you have any doubt, anything is not there, then you can let me know. Because I know this time the new books have come new. Okay, so you can tell me all that. But this is there. Okay, so sum of exterior angle of any polygon is 360 degrees. Can be any, any, any polygon, right? Okay. Ma'am, even though we don't have this question in the in our textbook, but last year's textbook it is there. Our ma'am are giving us the additional information or that is coming for our exams. Let's see. Okay, this time also you have this. Question, this is an example in your textbook. You can check out later on. This is an example yes. in your book. Okay? Yes. Okay. So, just to explain you, I have taken this example. So, total yes. measure of all exterior angles we know. That's 360 degree. Right? So, measure of each exterior angle is also given to you. Okay. So, let's write down that. Whatever we know about this, we are just writing down. Total measure of all exterior angles. is 360 degrees. We know that with this property, this is very, very important property. Jitne marji isko stars lagao, this is very, very important property to do such type of sums, right? So total measure of exterior angles is 360 degrees. And measure of exterior angle is given as measure of exterior angle. Now this is a measure of one exterior angle, no? That is given to us. Ma'am, 45 times x is equals to 360. Yeah, that is 45 times. 45 Ma'am, 45 times 8 equals 360. Okay, so 45 times you are saying 45 times x. Now, what is x here? x is the number of sides. x is equals to 360 by 45. Okay, so we don't know. Ma'am, x equals number of, huh, 8. Huh, so, number of, <coughs> number of exterior angles. Okay, so x is what? Number of exterior angles. How many exterior angles are there? So how many exterior angles? Eight exterior angles. Eight, ma'am. So that shows that you have that many sides also. Jitne angle hongi, sides bhi utni hongi na ke paas. Are you getting? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And yes, this is measure of angle. This is measure of angle now. Measure of one angle, which is equal to 360 degrees, right? Yes, children? Yes, ma'am. Many exterior angles hongi. Yes, ma'am. Agar triangle hota hai, you have three angles in this. So, you have three sides also, no? So, if you are asked to find the sides of a triangle, then also you apply the same concept. Are you getting? Yes, ma'am. Are you understanding? Yes, ma'am. So, Shiva, did you understand when you had asked me that question? Just me, M sides and 2N sides C. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Understood? Ma the one which was given in a ratio form. Ah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Like this. Ah, N minus 2 multiplied by 180 by N. Are you understanding? Yes, ma'am. For sure. Sure, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, what in case of interior angle? Ma interior angle also, I will tell you. Let me just be clear with that concept. No, the previous one. There was one doubt question. Where did it go?
I'm coming to that question which was asked there. Maybe on this page. Huh, this is the page here. <laughs> yes, Shiva, this question I'm saying. Two regular polygons are such that the ratio between their number of sides is 1 is to 2 and the ratio of the measure of their interior angles is 3 is to 4. Find the number of sides of each polygon. Now, in this case, the sides were asked. So, as many are the exterior angles there, jitne bhi exterior angles hote hain, jitne interior angles hote hain, that many are the sides of a polygon. So, we had taken it like this. Did you understand now, Shiva? Ma'am. So, you were asking there, no? Ki why from there did I get this N? Yes, ma'am. Now I understood. We are dividing the number of sides to yes. the... Uh, this is the angle sum. Okay? Sum of all the interior angles. And this is what? The measure of interior angle. Okay? This was the measure of interior angle. Measure of interior angle, ke lo, yeah, maybe the side. Okay? Okay? Um, Depending on the question. Question me kya diya what hum? Measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon with n sides is given like this. Okay, so n means number side number of sides diya hai. N is we have taken the n side. Okay, so that means this was the measure of one angle. Now you understand this? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so this was taken for. <clears throat> one polygon and this was taken for another polygon and then we were asked to find the ratio which was given in the question okay three is to four and we just equated it and we finally got the values for n i hope you can recall this hmm? um, we have done this ah, you have done no Aray, where is the page gone here we have back on our previous page. Okay, so now measure of one angle and the number of exterior angles is 360. From here, you can find your value of x that is 360 by 45 degrees. Okay, so which will give you 8. So that means x is equal to 8. So what was x we had taken? We had taken x as the number of exterior angles. Okay, so if this is the number of exterior angles, means the polygon has eight sides. Okay. Yes. You agree to this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I hope it's understandable. Everyone understood this? Yes, ma'am. Anyone has a doubt here? Anyone has a doubt in this part? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So let's take a question with interior angle. Okay. Just um, not... um, could you explain that part again, Mark? This uh, n minus two into uh, one eighty by n. Which part? Mark down, Mark. Like near the angle. Down, Mark. Page. This. Yes, sir. yes. Sir. This is nothing. This is not from this part. This is I was showing the previous question, which I had just shown you. Okay. This is for that question I was saying. Okay. I just showed you, no, the homework question. Yeah, yes, ma'am. It was from that. Okay, it has nothing yes. to do with this. The only concept that is applied here that I was saying, the same concept was applied here because Pranav was not clear about that. Okay? Yes. So, I hope now, Pranav, it's pretty clear now. Okay, let's take another question which about interior angle. Now somebody was asking, what if we are given interior angle? So I'm just taking another question where we can have some interior angle. Okay. So let's take how many sides? How many sides does a regular polygon? Regular means whose all sides are equal. How many sides does a regular polygon have if 
each of its if each of its interior angle the class time is over we shall 45 degrees each angle is 165 degrees ma'am this question <laughs> how many sides does the regular polygon have if each of its interior angle is 165 degrees now if interior angle in a polygon if suppose just assume that if interior angle in a polygon although this is an acute angle but i'm just telling you to just assume okay just assume that if this angle is 165 degree that means the other supplementary angle of this will be 180 minus 165 is it if this interior yeah. angle is 165 degrees that means exterior angle will be what 180 minus 180 minus 165 degrees 165 no so that means this will be 15 degrees 15 degrees 15 degrees 15 degrees okay one second one second chill okay so now this is 15 degrees right Ma'am, linear. Do you know that? Yes. Ma'am, there we did. There we did the linear pair, right, ma'am? Ah, huh. we did the linear pair. Okay. So, okay. One eighty, one sixty-five is subtracted. So that means we have got exterior angle is fifteen degrees. Now, with the same formula that we were doing here, okay, this one n into x is three sixty. The same thing oh. applies, no? Sum of all the exterior angles of any polygon is Three sixty degrees. Ma'am, there are fourteen sides to the polygon. Ah, so that means exterior angle measure of one exterior angle is given to us, and we know we want the total number of angles here. So the, let's take it x. So x will be three sixty degree divided by fifteen. So that will be twenty four. Yes. So that means number of angles x is what? Number of angles. No. You can just write here. Let number of angles in the polygon number of angles be x, right? Because here we had just written it like this. Okay, so now you can properly write it. Now let number of angles be x. So fifteen into x, so x is twenty four now. So that means this polygon has twenty four sides, right? So how many sides are there? Twenty-four sided polygon. This is a twenty-four sided polygon. Right? You understand this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I hope today's class is everything is clear now. Hello, class eight. Please tell. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Clear, ma'am. So please practice these questions. Yeah. And your today's homework will be on linear equations. Linear equations, right, ma'am? Okay. But please revise quadrilateral chapter for your Sunday test. Okay, ma'am. Sunday chapter. After this, we have linear equations test, ma'am. We'll see that. Okay, but first focus on this. Your Sunday test. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, your Sunday test is. I think date is nineteenth. I guess no. This Sunday uh, the date is nineteenth. No. Ah, uh, so that means your nineteenth Sunday test is quadrilateral. Okay, children. Thank you so much. Yes. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Yeah, nineteen twenty. Whatever is the date. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. ओके बेटा बाय बाय टू